they're at the post and they're off. It's going to be Kathy Talks a lot, jumping out to the early lead as it takes over the inside rail. Naughty two. And Princess Frost will settle in about a length and a half back in second. Then you go back to It's a Don Deal and Colonel Mary rounding out the field as they head into the turn for the first time. Naughty 2 now trying to make a little bit of a move on the outside of Kathy Talks a lot. Settling about a length back in third place is Princess Frost. Coming up on the outside of her, though, is going to be Colonel Mary. And at the back of the pack, It's a Don Deal. Less than a length now between the leader, Kathy Talks a lot, and Naughty 2, who's now making the move on the outside again as they head down to the final set of turns. Princess Frost looking like it might be fading back a little bit here as it drops back to closer to It's a Dawn deal. Although, as I say that, now starting to make its move, as is Colonel Mary trying to challenge the leaders. Are they going to be able to catch Kathy Talks a lot as they come on down the stretch? Here comes Princess Frost trying to make its move. Not going to get there, though, as it's going to be Kathy Talks a lot with the win. Princess Frost will finish second. Third place will go to the number four horses loaded up, ready to go. They're at the post. And they're off. Looks like a good start for Just a Love coming up the middle of the field. Two spins is going to join them. Also now on the inside, Island Storm is actually going to take the lead from Just a Love as they come by the grandstand for the first time in this race. It will be Island Storm in the lead, followed by Just a Love. Then you've got Ballet Corps on the inside battling with two spins for third place. As they go into the turn, Island Storm now trying to stretch out this lead on Just a Love. Just about a length of a lead on those two horses, although Just a Love now trying to close that gap as they head down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, two spins looking to make a move now on Ballet Corps for second place. As we run this six and a half furlong race coming down way past the halfway point as they button hook back down towards the home straightaway. It's going to be Island Storm with the lead stretching it out now to about two lengths on Just the Love. Two spins saying, hey, I'm not out of this one yet. Trying to make a move on second place. Ballet Corps trying to stay in this one as they come off the final turn and into the home stretch they come. And is anyone going to catch Island Storm? He's starting to run away with this one. Takes a little peek back, does Philip Clunas, as he'll cross the finish line by a good three, four lengths over just a love. Two spins will take third place. Ballet Court at the post. And they're off. And a good start for Magical Grace up the middle. And Lynn's Foxy Lady, who will take the lead as they go by the grandstand for the first time. Our Charmed Affair on the inside right now holding on to the number two spot as Magical Grace will look for some room on the outside in third. Look back to Snackable now trying to make a move on the inside rail to join the leaders up the front. Then she's a bit spicy now hitting in fifth while Riggs Flat is sixth. Going down the back stretch, it's Lynn's Foxy Lady with the lead by just under a length over Our Charmed Affair. Good race for third right now between Snackable and Magical Grace. Then you look back about three, four lengths back to She's a Bit Spicy and Riggs Flat. Lynn's Foxy Lady trying to hold off the field as they come down the turn towards the home stretch. Our Charmed Affair may be looking at a bit of a run here as is Snackable. As they come down the stretch, it is Lynn's Foxy Lady trying to hold off the field here. It will be Lynn's Foxy Lady winning it by a couple of lengths. Our Charmed Affair will take second place, third, going to number six, Snackable. Number five. Number six, Dyson, a scratch for race five. Horses are off as we're underway with race number five. Vernon Cat off to a good start. Change of plan also in there. In fact, four horses in a pretty good battle as they go into the first turn. It is Vernon Cat with the lead now on the inside. General Gabe looking to join as all these horses stay closely bunched together going down towards the back stretch. It's Vernon Cat with the lead. General Gabe in second, followed by Change of Plans in third. Gilded Eagle right now fourth, and at the back of the field, but only a couple lengths back, is Wildly Willie Code. 
Those positions continue to hold as they come down the second turn towards the back stretch. Vernon Cat now actually stretching out that lead to a little over a length on General Gabe, who now tries to find some room on the inside as it leads change of plan back there in third place. Several league lengths back, it's Gilded Eagle and Wildly Willie Code as they come off the turn. Down the stretch they come. Vernon Cat trying to hold off General Gabe. General Gabe making a late push. It's a photo, folks. Too close to call, folks. We're All six horses now loaded into the starter's gate for our final race. They're at the post, and they're off. Thanks, Dave has the lead as they go into the first set of turns. Right on the outside of him is Zano, also trying to make a charge up towards the front is She's No Angel and Stormy Indian. Those four lead the pack, and then it's several lengths back to Majestic Lass and Mary Janine. Down the back straightaway they go. Thanks, Dave will hold on to the lead by less than a length over Cezano. Then you look almost uh, a length back down to Stormy Indian, and right on their hip pocket on the right side is She's No Angel. Those four horses really taking the race here as Mary Janine and Majestic Lass in the back of the field now starting to make a move, trying to close in on She's No Angel. On the inside, Stormy Indian now looking to take over. Thanks, Dave, as they come down the stretch for home. It is Stormy Indian with the lead. They will take the victory. Second goes to... Thanks, Dave, and it will be a photo for third place between, I believe, the six 